Okay. My name is uh, Dr. Jack Tamandis. I'm a neurologist in the Division of Neurology within the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Alberta. And what did you discover regarding Alzheimer's disease? Well, as you know, Alzheimer's is a devastating medical condition for which there is no known cure. And we have uh, discovered a compound that actually could protect brain cells that are affected in Alzheimer's disease from the toxic effects of a protein. And uh, not only that, but it seems that this uh, particular compound uh, may work in ways that uh, allow us to, uh, to link diabetes and Alzheimer's disease in terms of causation and so forth. We've also discovered that this compound works through a receptor in the brain that is highly expressed in the brains of mice that actually develop Alzheimer's disease. So we are particularly intrigued with the idea of using this drug as a way to protecting brain cells in Alzheimer's disease and preventing its progression or reversing its effects. What kind of impact does this drug have on cell death in the brain? Well, it, uh, as I mentioned, that it is protective. So when cells in the brain are exposed to this amyloid protein, uh, there is cell death and a lot of destruction through a variety of pathways in the brain. And what this drug does is it actually uh, attenuates or it blocks the effects of uh, amyloid on nerve cells. So it stops cell death. So it stops cell death. And what does this mean for people who have Alzheimer's? Well, I think this is a very important uh, finding in terms of giving patients hope in a condition where we really have no effective treatments that are of a curative nature and it serves as an impetus for us to do more research in trying to develop uh, this drugs based on this compound to, to treat uh, Alzheimer's disease in a more definitive way. And what's the next step for your research? Well, the next step is to, uh, is to use this compound in, uh, in animal models of Alzheimer's disease and we certainly have those. Um, and these animals, which are mice, are genetically engineered to develop Alzheimer's disease over a period of time. So they recapitulate the human condition. And what we would like to do is to administer this drug to animals and see if we can block both the pathology and the learning and memory deficits that these animals develop. And once we have done that, we are ready to take this into clinical trials and go from there. Thank you.